When you began your real estate investing journey, you soon realized that without consistent leads, you're dead in the water. You have two options, spend your time or spend your money. Whether you're paying for leads or setting up systems, the price tag can get pretty hefty. And in order to stay consistent and have a sustainable business, you need to keep your overhead low, especially as a beginner. Here are three free lead sources that you may not know about. At the end of the video, if you need more one-on-one -on -one help, please book some time with me. Hi, my name is Joe Holmes, and I flipped hundreds of homes here in Southern California. I have over 40 years of experience. I've been a broker, mentor, and investor, and I want you to like, subscribe, and share this content with your friends. Lead source number one would be agent outreach. Speaking with those agents that have a property that may be listed, that may have been sitting there for a period of 90 to 180 days, and for whatever reason, it has not sold. And reaching out to them to find out if they even know why it hasn't sold. Find out if the seller is motivated by that point in time to drop the price, um, get a good offer on that property, uh, either by cash or by, let's say, subject to. Is there a loan on the property that the new buyer can come in and take over that loan and just put maybe a little bit of money down and, uh, and be able to buy it that way? So what I'm talking about there is like creative financing. The agent that has a property listed may not have even thought of creative financing before. They Maybe they have not spoken with their seller about creative financing, but bring these type of topics up and you may end up getting a deal. If you like these type of videos, do me a favor and hit that like button. Lead source number two, what about reaching out to other wholesalers and asking them for their dead leads? For leads that maybe they couldn't put together, leads that they actually put together but they couldn't find buyers for. Um, if these people are still interested, which they probably are, then it's a good source to give them a call back, try to warm them back up to the point where maybe now they're more realistic and they're willing to lower the price that you can do, so you can put it under contract and then sell it to somebody else or buy it yourself. Lead source number three, referrals or social media. And that's all about networking. So you basically tell everybody, hey, I'm a cash buyer and I'm looking for properties and people are going to refer leads to you, whether they're wholesale leads or if you post something on social media, Facebook or whatever that I'm looking to buy properties, you're going to start to get inquiries from those wholesalers out there, those real estate agents out there, or even just sellers looking that hey, this guy's willing to buy a property in my area and I just woke up this morning and decided I'm going to sell. The real estate world is dynamic and the key to success lies in adapting and evolving. Keep honing your skills, explore new strategies, and never, ever stop learning. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and that you hit that like button. If you want to learn more about lead generation, then click on this video right here. As always, feel free to reach out anytime. I'm always here to help.